I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, it's uh, Saturday, the 25th, and Dad's brake showed up for the blazer this morning while we were at the junkyard. So he is opening them up right now. As you can see, we got them from Summit Racing, and uh, ooh, new catalog, new stickers. Ooh. Um, going to open them up, take a look at them. They are power stop, the stock replacement. Don't need any kind of an upgrade because basically he doesn't drive it all that much and he doesn't do any towing or anything with it. There's no hitch on there. So didn't probably ought to pay attention to where I'm pointing the camera. But, uh, trying to clean up things also. But uh, he just needs it for driving around town. And these power stop brakes, I got them on my truck, the uh, tow and haul package. And uh, I love them. So. And these are less expensive than your standard things from O'Reilly or AutoZone. So, we them open up, make sure we actually have the right shit. Lost your knife. And get the $100 wine voucher. I am willing to sell this for $50 to uh, anybody that can use it. Just uh, hit me up. But, uh, Power stop evolution ceramic disc brake pads and hardware kit. This should be the box for the front brakes. Ooh, little pieces. My knife is getting dull. Just like all of mine. You're taking too long. People are getting anxious to see this. Ooh. And as you can see, if you watched our earlier video on brake squeal, these already have the chamfer, chamfer built into the pads. That is what you want on when you put your new pads on. So if you buy cheap pads, make them look like that before you put them on. A lot less chance of squeez squeaks and squeals. The rotors. Oh, one rotor. Pretty. Definitely a lot prettier than the ones that are going to come off. But, uh, it so far it looks looks correct, and we shall see. Looking good. Okay, and the rears. Oh boy. Good 
good thing we ended up building this bench. Otherwise, we'd have nowhere to do it because that one's full of crap. This one's full of crap. The one on the other shop's full of crap. The two back there are full of crap. This one was full of crap till I cleared it off. <laughs> You're opening the bottom. And the uh, ceramic silicone brake component lubricant. I bought a thing of it because when I used mine, there was nowhere near enough in that little package. So I bought a jar of it. That's bottom. This is our in our garage. We don't follow the rules. We open the bottom of the box. Because yeah, it flips open. And there's the rears. So far it looks right. This is your front stuff, right? Or is it you still got it over? It's over here in the oh, box. Okay. I wasn't sure. This is what it was like at Christmas with, when we were kids, waiting on Dad to open his presents. He would take as long as possible. But carefully, you see the taper on the pads. Wonderful. Okay, there's our new brakes. And inside the other shop, we have the blazer pulled inside. I already have it up on jack stands. Uh, two of them are Harbor Freight, but they are not the ones included in the recall. So. And we've had that all four of them that we have are Harbor Freight jack stands. We've had for quite a while and never had a single problem with, so I'm not too concerned with. But right now under the back we got big red jack stands from Menards. They're a little bit taller and uh, they work better under the rear. So we are going to get set up. I need to find a place to set the camera and we will get started on this brake job. Okay, we got the wheels off. You can see these front ones, they're not terrible, but they're mostly worn on the pads. These were done at some point, don't remember when. The rears, however, never been done, and they look like it. And we come around to the driver's side. And you can see just how bad this one is. There's just a quarter inch or so of anything wearing on that rotor. So. Made some room, but it's still kind of tight in here, even with this little vehicle. So. Got that done. Now, all that's left is all the rest. Opening up the rotors, and they are coated in a film of oil, grease, some, some kind. Keep them from rusting while in storage. These are not the coated rotors. That was a, an extra $50. So, what that is doing 
taking some uh, brake clean and uh, knocking things all over the bench and soaking the paper with brake clean. Getting all that wiped off before they uh, before they go on. So do that to both the inner and outsides. If you had drums, it would just be the inside of the drum. Get them nice and clean before they go on. All right, start on the right front caliper here. And bolt out. As part of this, we're also going to be draining the fluid, putting all fresh fluid in here. Give me something to put these in because these are all going to have to be cleaned up. There it goes. Yep, the caliper actually doesn't look as bad as I thought they would, considering how crappy that looks. Now, crack it off. And those ones are freaking tight, I know that. Those things are fucking tight. Oh, it's at 15? No. It's an 18. Budging. I'm gonna turn the wheel. Do not let your caliper hang from the hose like that. Like I'm doing right now. It's not good.
for. The wire. Stop the caliper? Yeah. I was just going to grab these. So what you want to do, find a convenient spot. And find a convenient spot. no convenient spot. Really? There it comes. And do this so that you're not letting all that weight hang on the hose. on wrong to try and do this. There it goes. The handy wrench extension which will only periodically cause broken fingers and things like that. There we go. Go loose. And there's your caliper bracket with the pads in it. And you can see the inner pad has worn a bit more than the outer pad on this side. Still a little bit of meat left on there, but might as well just do everything all at once. Clean that up. And I'll try and get this rotor off. The rotor is held on. Kind of hard to clip there and there. Those need to come off before the rotor will come off. Grab me a drink of water while I'm up here. It's fairly warm today. Not as bad as it has been, though. Yeah. I personally prefer about 65 degrees. That's my kind of weather.
And I destroy these when they come on taking them off. I don't know if there's a way to get them off without destroying it, but that works for me. Almost in one piece. Oh, yeah. You can see, even here in the desert, we get rust. That's because of the snow, and they use like mag chloride or some shit here on the roads. And there is no, no kind of undercoating or anything here, so things rust just not as bad as they do out east. yet should have got it with the brackets <laughs> yeah, yeah looks like the same room. okay I'm gonna clean all that shit up under there here you want to bring your wire brush that you got and then set somewhere over here and you want to clean your hub up make sure there's nothing on there because if you do have something on there cause the rotor to sit unevenly and it could give you a vibration straighten that back out make it easier give you a vibration when you're going down the road right after you put brand new brakes on it and that would uh, tend to be irritating I believe this is not hitting the fucking lens on the camera that would probably tend to piss me off that all cleaned off I'm not gonna get it perfect but and some people like to put anti-seize around this rim here where the rotor will sit here we don't really need it we get rusty things but you can probably see it's not rusty there so we don't really have that issue so if it had stuck coming off after I cleaned it up or if it stuck when I took it off after I cleaned it up then yeah I would have Go. Uh, put some on there be on the safe side but I'm not thinking it's necessary on this and this greaser up here I don't think that has ever 
lubricated anything on this chassis. Could be wrong. But I don't think so. Um, There's not a lot on here that gets lubricated. A few things will hit while we got everything apart here. And wind's picking up. Hopefully it doesn't start raining because I gotta push the truck back inside. And I believe underneath here. One more. Look at that before I put the wheel on. Unless I forget. Which has been known to happen. Of course I still gotta find the grease gun. I have no idea where that is. Clean. Yes. Okay. Right, where? There it goes. I gotta finish cleaning this up. The uh, dust shield kind of cleaned up. And watch the. Uh, camera so I don't just kind of did you clean the flange yes just kind of spraying everything else down rinsing it off Things are not too bad in here. Bracket and pad set up. I need to finish collapsing the pistons. So we'll be able to put that on. So grab grab an old brake pad. And I do not have a brake caliper press to push the uh, pads back into place or the pistons sorry so if I get my do try and get this in the frame here somewhat but since I have it held up it's kind of hard but to take an old pad like so set it across your pistons and then get your C clamp ready hopefully this one's big enough open it up And I am going to break this loose so that I can manipulate it. Catch. And what you 
want to do. Put the pad across the pistons. And this one has a handy brake hose that goes right behind there. Try and prevent you from doing this, but uh, put your C clamp on the pad, like so. And just whoop, gently. You don't need to be, it's not a race. You don't need to go real fast. You don't want to force the fluid too fast because you're forcing it back up into the master cylinder. And push it down. And since I am off to the side, there goes the other one. It is pushing that one back. Also, not quite as much, so I may need to reposition this. See, clamp here just a little bit to make sure we get this one fully seated back in the bore. And there went my light, so now I can't see anything, but there you have it. Now, let's see if we can get my light back. And there we go. And you can see, if I would point the camera, there we go. Pistons are back in the bore. So once we get the other pieces back, I wish this which have better light for this. Uh, we can put this on the side back together. These brakes are fairly simple. The uh, where did I put it? I got it out of the truck. I don't know where. Yep. up to in the other shop there. Get this. His, uh, his hips are getting to him. Makes the chair. I set it out there so it'd be easy to get to and then didn't think about it when we pushed the truck there in the way. He's got the uh, bracket cleaned up. Uh, let's see. I need to grab those bolts and get them over here and get them cleaned up. So, we will room here and I need that to go like that and dad will explain to you what he's doing I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> okay took a little break there while I took the uh, other caliper front caliper bracket off because dad couldn't remember which direction and which clips to use and that so it's a good tip if you're not familiar with the brakes first time doing it or something or haven't done it in a long time take one side apart and do it 
That way you have the other side as a reference. Or if you're handy with a smartphone, which dad really isn't, take pictures of it as you're going along so that you have a reference to how everything goes back together. But if you just go around, take all your brakes off, take them all apart, and uh, then try and remember exactly which way they go back together. May have a little issue. You want any grease on those or no? Oh, let's get them set first. Need a burger hammer. Well, we've got like three different sizes. So <laughs> you grabbed whichever one you felt was best suited for the job. Wow. So, caliper grease, high temperature grease. You can use it to lube the back of your pads. Well, I don't lube all your sliding points. this on those bolts. Yeah. She didn't need that. <laughs> well, I figured it was that or like six of those tiny little packets with almost none in there at almost two dollars a piece and so this was the more economical buy. Now I gotta remember how to, they go on again. Well, you've got that one. I'm gonna hand me that and I get the bolts and everything. We can start putting this side back together. Come, well, I gotta come back and get the camera. And we're starting to get sprinkles. We need to get the truck in. Okay, back over here on the driver's side. Got everything cleaned up. Got the new pads in the bracket. And rotors on. So we set our bracket in place. Somehow, some way. Okay, we need. Oh shit! Damn it! I just popped the pad out. Big deal. Pop a 
back in. Okay, got a new fresh battery in the camera. And let me get the broker back on there. And go back to putting the bracket back in. If I can get everything right while I want it without popping it out. We'll be happy. There we go. Okay. Grab our bracket bolts. Uh-oh. Covering up the shot there. The bolts are in. Those up against the rotor there. Trying to remember what we did with our wrenches. I do not know what the torque is on these. I just know tight. A little extra there and give it a little extra oomphy. To, uh, the, we're in the shop where the truck 50 Chevy is uh, work, we're working on and uh, we moved it out so we could pull this in and of course it started sprinkling so we had to push it into the other shop where it just fits and it makes it difficult for two fat old men to try and maneuver in there so you can't get from one end of the shop to the other anymore at this point in time. Okay, and then take our caliper slider bolts, a little bit of lube on there. You don't need to go too crazy with it, just lube them up. And then, try not to get them all dirty while you're maneuvering things around. You can take your caliper. You got the two rubber boots. Make sure you treat them carefully. The, and this is going to want to play dirty with me so just take your time get things lined up 
And with a glove on, I can't feel what I'm doing. Boots lined up there. And run your bolts through. Get them started. So sure that sounded good. I don't know if that was dad over there or what. I better go check. That you making noise over there? <laughs> okay, and that is the driver's side. Or sorry, passenger side, front. So we're going to do the driver's side. Everything's exactly the same. And uh, we will catch back up when we move to the rear.
Okay, our uh, wireless mics batteries died, but as you can see, we got the last uh, rotor and caliper on. We do have a hose hooked to the bleed screw. We are draining the old nasty fluid out, starting with the uh, right rear. And uh, we're going to work our way around left rear, right front, left front, just get all the old nasty fluid out, place it with new stuff and uh, then this brake job will be complete sounds like we got incoming missiles or something I don't know what it is or where it is yeah there it is Somewhere up there. It's off in the distance now. But anyway. So we are uh, just in the process of changing the fluid. And this brake job will be done. These, uh, these brakes are simple. If you got any kind of mechanical app capabilities absolutely no reason you can't do this yourself unless you're afraid to get dirty but uh, so uh, we will uh, finish changing out the fluid and then we'll take it for a drive and see how everything works